We will be studying about ordering four digit and five digit numbers. Before starting our today's lesson, we need to understand what ordering things means. Ordering things means arranging things or putting things in some particular order, whether we are arranging it in from smaller to bigger or from bigger to smaller. As you can see here, the, this bunch of kids has been arranged in an order where the smallest kid comes at the first place, then the bigger, then the bigger, and the biggest kid is at last place. But the same kids when arranged in this way, where the biggest kid is at the first place and the smallest kid goes at the last place, we have arranged the same things in a different order, that is from bigger to smaller. Numbers can be arranged in the same way. You have to arrange or put the numbers in a particular order that can be an ascending order or a descending order. Ascending order means you will put the smallest number at the first place and then stepwise you'll go to the biggest number. Whereas descending order means you'll put the biggest number at first place and stepwise you go to the smallest number. Ascending order means arranging numbers from smaller to bigger. It means we will put the smallest number at first place and then go step, by st step by step towards the bigger numbers. Let's have an example here. We have four numbers in front of you and to put these numbers in ascending order, we first need to identify the smallest number and that number will go at the first place. Among these four digits, we will compare the highest place values first and see which number has the smallest number at its thousand place as these are four digit numbers. So the highest place value will be thousand. As you can see in the yellow strip above each number, so when we compare thousands, we see that the second number has four at its thousands place, while all the rest of numbers have five at their thousands place. So as four is smaller than five, so we say that this number 4,981 is the smallest and it will come at the first place. Among the rest of the three numbers, we've seen that all of these have five at their thousands place, so we will now compare the digits at their hundreds places. And we see that the last digit has a zero at its hundreds place, whereas rest of the two have two and three at their hundreds place. As zero is smaller than two and three, so we say that the last number, which was 5096 or 5096, it will come at second place. Among the rest two, the digits at the hundreds place are two and three, as two is smaller than three. So this number 5,231 will come at third place. And the last, the remaining one number, which was 5,333, it will come at last place. Take another example. We are now given four five digit numbers. We have 57,306, 67,603, 67,036, and 53,760. And we once again need to put these numbers in ascending order. Now, the highest place value will be the 10,000. You can write the place values at the top of each number to identify the highest place value. Starting from left, we see when we compare the digits at 10,000 place, we see that first and fourth number have five 
at their 10,000 squares, whereas second and third number have six, right? Five is smaller than six. Among first and fourth numbers, we now have five at their, it's the same number at their 10,000 place. So we'll go to the thousands place of these two numbers. And we see that this last number has three at its thousands place, which is smaller than seven, which is a thousands place of first number. So we say that this number 53,760 is the smallest and it will come at first place. Whereas the first number, which was 57,306, it will come at second place. The rest of two numbers are 67,603 and 67,036. As we've seen, both have the same number at 10,000 place. And at, by looking at 1,000 place, we see that both have same number at 1,000 place also. What to do now? We'll go at 100 place value. And we see that both the numbers have six and zero at their thousands place. So a zero is smaller than six. So the number with zero at hundreds place will be smaller than the other one. So we say that this number 67,036 comes at third place and the remaining number obviously goes at last place. This is arranging of numbers in ascending order. Right, coming to the descending order of number means now we will be arranging numbers from bigger to smaller. The biggest number will be put at first place and the smallest number will go at the last place. Looking at the example, we are given few numbers and to put these numbers in descending order, we need to identify the biggest number first. Method will be the same, but instead of the smallest digit, we'll look for the biggest digit. Starting from the thousands place digits of all the numbers, we see that all the numbers have same digit at their thousands place. So we'll go to the digits at hundreds place. Now, the first number has one at hundreds place, second number has three, third number has zero, and fourth number has two. So among these four digits, three is the biggest. So we say the number 1359 comes at first place as it is the biggest number. Among the rest of three numbers, we see the number with two at the hundreds place is bigger than the rest of the two numbers. So this number will come at second place. First number, which had one at its hundred place, will come at third place as one is greater than zero, obviously, which is at hundred place of the last digit. And the last digit will now come at the, the remaining number will come at the last place. This is how we have I uh, ordered these four digit numbers in descending order while putting the largest number at first place and the smallest number has gone at the last place. Taking another example, we now have a few five digit numbers and to put these numbers in descending order, we'll follow the same process. But now we'll first compare the digits at 10,000 place as the Highest place value in five digit numbers is 10,000. You are now well aware of that. So comparing the digits at 10,000 place, we see that first and fourth number have one at their 10,000 place, which is smaller than the 10,000 place digits of second and third number, which is two. So both of these have a bigger value, but the same highest number can only be one so which number among these two uh, numbers is biggest? As they have same digit at their 10,000th place, so we'll go to the
So here, once again, we see that at thousands place, the second number has one, whereas the third number has zero, as one is greater. So this will be the number 21,310 will be the biggest number and we'll put it at first place. Whereas the third number, which was 20,130, it will come at second place. The remaining two numbers, 10,357 and 11,011. You've seen that both have one at the 10,000th place, both have same digits, so we'll go to the thousands place. And we see that the last number, 11,011, has one at its thousands place, which is greater than the remaining number, which has zero. So we put this number, 11,011, at third place, and the remaining number goes at the last place. So now, once again, we've put these numbers in descending order. Descending means we've put these numbers in an order where the biggest number has been put at first place and the smallest number has gone at the last place. So guys, today we studied about ordering four digit and five digit numbers. We ordered numbers in ascending order, which is the smallest number comes at first place and we go stepwise towards the biggest number. And then we studied about descending order where the biggest number was placed at the first place. This is your home task class. On page number 20, you have to do question number one and two, and this is to be done on book. I'm repeating, this is to be done on book. Please use sharp pencil. Mention today's date and day at the top and attempt this question, these two questions very neatly. In our next lesson, we will inshallah learn about number lines and skip counting and that will also be a very interesting lesson for you. Thank you so much for your time. I thank you all for giving your precious time to me and I hope all of you enjoyed today's lesson. Stay home, stay safe. Allah